Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. As you can see by the title below, this is on episode 4 of Rewrite. And wow, so we get like some crazy backstory on Shizuru in this one. She seems to be the main girl for this one. And it looks like they'll be doing like a backstory for each girl. As you saw at the very end, it looks like Lucia is the next one on the line. Um, I gotta tell you guys, do not go into the forums for this episode on my enemy list because holy crap the visual novel people are getting pissed at the way this is being adapted there's some people trying to say you know this is like kind of like um i guess not they're not trying to put all the roots all the girls you know heroine roots into one episode each it's more of they're putting the backstory in to each one and i get that it does feel even from an anime viewer only i could tell this was rushed like out of nowhere we were kind of having like a slice of life kind of stuff going on in the past few episodes with a little bit of that supernatural thing going on here and there with you know being attacked by certain hunters or something like that being attacked by dog monster things going to another world so there's a little bit of each of that coming in you can already see it was rushed but it was having a slice of life thing and all of a sudden bam we get into this episode and out of nowhere it kind of feels like all of a sudden we're getting into the backstory of each girl it just feels it's so weird how from one point we're over here next moment next moment all of a sudden we're into this you know into the backstory of Shizuru out of nowhere kind of feeling to be honest in my opinion and I get that's probably why the visual novel people are getting pissed but even from an anime viewer only I still did enjoy the episode the backstory was still really interesting and it kind of like to be honest it still made it made me want to go and you know read the visual novel myself because I want to learn more and more and get you know delve more into the info considering from the visual novels people have been saying and just from an anime viewer perspective myself is that a lot of this is being rushed and come on you have to have you know expected that it, it's kind of weird that a lot of these people are getting so pissed off at it because I get it I get it like a lot of people love this visual novel and I get they're not adapting it well but it's kind of like this was 13 episodes you kind of have to expect that it wouldn't have been adapted as well that it was going to be rushed that's why at the first my first episode when I watched it and I made my first impressions I was saying I was scared on how this season would be how this 13 episode season would be considering 13 episodes in my opinion is not enough to adapt a visual novel like any of the key visual novels like literally it needs like 24 episodes for a season that's why I loved Clannad that's why Angel Beats I didn't care for it too much I loved it but it just felt like it would have been better if there was more episodes instead of 12 episodes 12 episodes literally is not even like close to the amount that you need to adapt these kind of things very well and in my opinion at least putting in every time every episode will get a little bit backstory for the girls is still something good for me to learn for all the anime viewers only we at least get to see you know what is happening with each of these main characters that's how they're adapting these characters showing us the backstory kind of showing also the thing about you know the supernatural point of view of this anime with superpowers and stuff we see Shizuru's got this superpower where she can pretty much erase people's memories but also heal people because they even the teacher was saying that she has the ability to like use medicine or make medicine or something like that and we did see that when the dad had like a dang you know glass piece in his back she healed it up a little so I'm guessing she has two powers and during that scene we saw some crazy monster flying over and it looked like one of the pictures that we actually saw in the beginning when we um, Kotaro was talking to the old guy so it looks like there are these monsters and these monsters are giving the powers I'm not too sure on that point yet but it seems that we are getting and delving more into the supernatural kind of thing showing the backstory for each of these girls is a good way to kind of you know show us who these characters are I'm guessing they're gonna do one for each one so we have Shizuru already next one is gonna be Lucia and then so on and so on with you know Chi Chi Chan um, uh, what is the other girl's name Kotori I almost forgot her name sorry guys and of course Akane so those are all the girls that we're gonna be going into so that's obviously we have that much more episodes next left for that then there was also the point of showing the um, ribbon girl ghost girl coming in into the classroom that was a little weird um, all of a sudden 
door opens now you see that only kotoro can see her so that's pretty crazy though kotori did have a moment where she turned around and was looking at him i'm not too sure if they're you know signifying that maybe she can actually see as well or she just saw you know kotoro looking all weird game bit it's so funny how now she's like at first she stopped going to the home now and now she comes to the school and just goes like how and he just like he's just like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like what the hell so they still got a little bit of the comedic value going in this as well while throwing in a lot more supernatural things with the backstory and everything and to to me the backstory honestly i was tearing up it was like it's probably way more emotional in the visual novel i'm not saying that you know this was me it was amazing because even this did feel rushed like the way they pretty much showed the whole backstory for her it did feel rushed i'll admit that but i still did enjoy it i still did enjoy like shizuru is like one of my you know like right now akane is my favorite girl i like shizuru as well she's super cute and seeing her throughout the episodes she's always this you know kind of happy go lucky cute little girl you know and then all of a sudden you see that she has a tragic background that's how all these key visuals visual novels usually are they always have these tragic backgrounds and we see that shizuru's one is where she has she's with her family they're you know it's a loving family and everything one day they get a new home all of a sudden there's a fire flying beast comes out of no up above out of nowhere she's her eye is bleeding she heals the dad and all of a sudden we also see the old guy the old guy seems to have been part of this um like i don't know this organization including the teacher as well and i'm guessing they have a, it's an organization doing something to the that you know working and trying to find these supernatural kind of things maybe they're the hunters kind of stuff so that's pretty interesting as well to be throwing that in and of course after you see she's able to heal her eye of course her eye ends up changing color it's a different people pretty much teasing her as a kid her family gets money from the you know the organization so she goes to the school all of a sudden her parents are pretty much fighting day in day out and so she pretty much makes a wish and that wish ends up making it so they lose their memory like to go back to how they were before which was years and years before i'm guessing before they even had her i guess because they don't even remember her it's gotta be so hard for her to go to that house and see that happen see her younger sister there as well and they don't even know her they don't even remember her like i was really tearing up the music the soundtrack also like i always love the music in all the key visual novels so once again another great um s soundtrack another great music in the background to really just like it it helped like it just made me feel like so much more like i the feels man the feels like i was literally on the feels train in this episode but looks like it's gonna get worse we're gonna get even more backstory on more girls we're gonna see lucia why does she have this thing with flowers that we saw at the end she was crying so it's, it'll be interesting to see what's her backstory what's her power as well and everything i can't wait to see that but yeah overall that's really all i got to say guys overall i feel though it was rushed it was still did its job it still did give us the backstory of shizuru probably gonna give us the backstory of every other girl in the future episodes and also kind of give us like um more of what the supernatural aspect of this throwing in here and there here and there i'm not too sure still yet what the plot is what's going to happen what the ribbon ghost girl has to do with all this as well she just comes in and out every once in a while so that's a little different too i'm kind of like confused on the main plot and story of this it's right now we're just getting into the, like the first few episodes more of an introduction to everything talking about the supernatural aspect showing all the main characters grouping up together bringing them all together to the club room and everything and then now it looks like we're going to be going on the backstory of each girl uh, maybe even um, Kotoro as well because we don't really know full on his backstory as well how he got his superpowers and everything but I can't wait to see how this is I'm still thinking that this 13 episode season is going to be more of a kind of like how Clannad had this and then it was after story or little busters and then refrain i'm thinking that this even though it's 13 episodes i wish it was 24 it'd be a lot better in my opinion i think um i'm still thinking that this is going to be like kind of a introductory to everything we're going to gain introduce to all the characters the backgrounds the main plot of what this supernatural kind of aspect is and show maybe the main storyline a little bit towards the end and then i'm thinking we're going to get another season to which where it's going to get re down to the real needy greedy of all that kind of stuff i'm hoping it's like that because i think it can still be a really good anime for the second season first season so far is doing its job at least 
though it may feel uh, a lot rushed, I still am enjoying the episodes overall as an anime watcher only. So, as always, guys, I want to know, visual novel fans, don't go too crazy in the comments, but feel free to comment below what you guys thought of this, you know, episodes. How do you feel everything is being rushed? Do you think that everything is still being, like, is this still on a good path or you think it's just completely ruined I always want to know your opinions anime watchers only also want to know your opinions as an anime watcher only how do you feel everything is going on do you feel it's rushed like I do but do you still enjoy it and do you still get what everything's going on with the backstories and everything feel free to comment below on that but yeah it's all I gotta say guys hope you enjoy this anime kingdom review if you have any questions feel free to comment below if there's anything I missed and you want to talk about comment below as well and if you did enjoy as always feel free to leave a like and if you haven't already feel free to subscribe it really does help the channel and you get to see more of these cool reviews and stuff yeah so <laughs> until next time guys see ya